That must be kind of a crazy stretch, right? I mean, the, the no contest, the loss, the reschedule, the cancellation. I mean, this has got to be the weirdest stretch of, of your career. What, uh, yeah, it has been. Uh, what, what's, I was going to say, what's it been like for you? It, it's been crazy just to think about, um, but it's experiences that, that I guess happen for a reason. And uh, whatever reason it is, it, it, hopefully it's, it's a good thing. Nice. And uh, try to trying to start it off with a good thing on Saturday. Was there any uh, thought of like like pausing for a while? Because it just I, I feel like you've probably just been like nonstop training, prepping, training, prepping, right? Was there any thought of like let's just reset for a little bit? Um, not really. No, uh, I knew that just as long as I have a full camp, like that's enough time for me to just kind of reset and everything like that. But no, I didn't really think I needed to to kind of take a step back and hold out for a little bit. I, I want to be busy. I want to be active. So. That's the only way I can I can do it is just to keep taking these fights and hopefully they go through. Nice. What's the focus been like during this time? Has it been on like just staying healthy and staying ready? Has it been on improving skills? I mean, what's what's the thought then? Uh, everything, improving everything, um, improving on you know just getting better at focusing in on when I'm in the cage um, and just getting those mental reps in that I need to get in. You know, not only physical reps in the gym but also mentally the reps I need to get in as well. No question. Uh, another replacement opponent here. Um, what, what's it like when you have those conversations? I mean, is there is there a discussion of like, ah, let's let's see his tape first, or is it just automatic, like whoever you got for us? How does that work for you? No, uh, you know, I, I just try to be the best in the world, and in order to be the best in the world, you have to fight whoever they put in front of you, and that's the mindset that I have going into every single fight. Nice. So, is there ever any discussion like when the UFC is like, this is who we got? Do you even talk, or is it just like, let's go? No, I was just I was just waiting for them to, to hit me a name, and I was going to sign on the line. Fair enough. What do you think about uh, Jamie as an opponent? He's had some success as of late. Yeah, he's a good opponent. Um, we both have the Contender Series um, kind of background as well. Uh, I know that he's fought more times on the Contender Series than I did. Um, but, yeah, he's a tough opponent, very tough. I know he likes to kind of sit back and, and kind of fight from range, but he can be aggressive if he needs to be. And uh, I just look forward to getting in there and uh, putting the pressure to him. Nice. Does it change much your, as far as your strategy, your approach? I mean, the, the, the person that's on the other side, like, do you tweak a lot, or is it just minor adjustments? Nah, just minor adjustments. Talk to my team a little bit and just see, uh, based off of their video, you know, what they do, what their tendencies are, and, and just how I can capitalize off of that. I know you want to be busy. You know you want to be the best in the world. But I guess, is there, like, a feel like i got a point to prove or I've got a message to send or something after all this kind of weird stuff that's been going on? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, uh, I mean, I know I got a backlash, got a lot of backlash from that last fight that I had with with uh, Holland, the whole whole no contest and everything. But uh, no, I know that I have to go out there and make a statement with every single fight. So whenever I go in there, I'm trying to make a statement and just trying to get my name out there to uh, get better and better opponents. Yeah. Is it, does is the Holland fight a fight that needs to happen again, or does it matter to you? Not for me. No. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm fine with the kind of decision that happened. Um, we all know what happened, and it's whatever. But uh, no, he went to 170, so that's fine with me. Yeah. Goal here is it is it basically just get a win or means it do you feel like you need to get a finish or anything like that or is it just let's just get a win and get get started again? Uh, getting a win obviously is number one. Um, I'm not going to chase the finish or force the finish if it doesn't if it doesn't uh, you know show up. But uh, I plan on going out there and, and, and getting the finish as best as I can. Nice right, so last thing for me I guess win here is it get back quickly or do like do you need some time off? I like I said I'm imagining you've been training like pretty much nonstop. Do you want to rest or do you do you want to just keep booking fights? Nah, I keep the ball rolling. As long as I'm winning, I'm good to go. And uh, yeah, I can get in there as soon as I can. Um, I know my brother's fighting in March. Big card in March he's got. Um, I just want to be able to fight in front of the fans. So if they can get me a, a, a an event in, in an arena or anything like that, I'm all good to go. Thanks, guys.